I wanted to make a quick video to demonstrate the way that I want you to go about translating or paraphrasing this monologue. It's very similar to the things we've been doing in Bell Work. It's just lengthier because there is an entire speech here. And so you'll be looking at four or five lines at a time. So I wanted to go through the top part of this speech together. We'll be doing this in the live lesson as well. The first step, of course, is to find words that need to be replaced. And we already actually did this one in Bell Work, so we can just go ahead and recreate that. To be thus is nothing, but to be safely thus. And so when we talked about this in the Bell Work, we talked about how he's saying to be this, meaning to be king. So to be king is nothing. We also talked about replacing is with means nothing. So to be this, to be king means nothing, but to be safely the king. And safely then we replaced and we said meaning to be securely king. And so that is how he begins this speech. That is, is his concern. Then he directs his attention at Banquo. He says, our fears, which our here means my, this is, he's using the royal we. So my fears in Banquo, he means his fears regarding Banquo, his fears about Banquo stick deep. So you can rewrite that my fears about Banquo are deep. And in his royalty of nature reigns that which would be feared. If you deal with this in little chunks like that, in little phrases, then it is going to be a lot easier than trying to deal with an entire sentence. So if you deal with just like each little phrase, then that's going to be easier. So royalty of nature, then the word royalty here actually has um, a double meaning. And I talk about this in the reading video for the section that we are about to read. It is a, so first of all, he is talking about the prophecy. He's talking about the prophecy that um, his sons will be king. But then he is also talking about the nature of a king. So royal meaning like above or his high moral character that we talked about with Banquo. And that is also something that his royalty of nature means here. So one of the things that Macbeth is worried about in terms of Banquo is this high moral character that he has and the royalty that, um, let me make it all fit on one line, not gonna happen. Um, and so reigns means has control, has power. It is the, his royalty of nature that I fear. I fear that his, king, his sons are gonna become king and I fear that he has this high moral character. Then he moves on and as he moves on, he's really talking about the high moral character of it first. So here at the beginning, he's focusing on the moral character and why that's a problem. He says, "'Tis much he dares, and to that dauntless temper of his mind, dauntless means fearless, and temper means nature. So he has, he is fearless in his mind. He has a wisdom that guides his valor. Valor is something that we talked about back with um, the age of chivalry, that valor means courage, honorable courage. And wisdom we can kind of rewrite as being intelligence. He's smart. And so overall, what he's saying here about Banquo is that Banquo is not afraid to be brave and he's smart enough to act in safety. And he already used safely up here to mean secure. Safety down here has um, 
meaning that he is willing and brave enough to do the right thing. To act in safety means to do the right thing, to do the thing that will be best. You know, the right thing or the best thing. And so overall, this final sentence is saying that Banquo is smart enough and brave enough to do the right thing. And so what Macbeth is worried about is that Banquo will figure out what happened or figure out that he killed Duncan and he will act on it because he's brave enough to do something about it. And so this is the kind of breakdown that you should do with the rest of this speech. And of course, I'm typing mine, so it's kind of a mess. You'll be writing all over yours. Um, if you print it out on paper, or since it's a Word document, you can do the same thing that I did and add space between the lines in order to break this down and create an overall paraphrase of the section. And I hope you found that helpful. You will need to pick one, pick one, two, three, or four to do and turn in below.